come. Well, welcome everyone to our, our series of AI hearings the, and the seventh data privacy related hearing that we've held this year. The promises of artificial intelligence are extensive from more affordable energy and better healthcare to a more productive workforce and a better standard of living. Unlocking this technology's potential could radically strengthen American economic and technological leadership across the board. In addition, the power of AI can also be abused and raises serious concerns and challenges that must be addressed. It is critical that America, not China, is the one addressing those challenges and leading in AI's development and deployment. The best way to start is by laying the groundwork to protect people's information with a national data privacy standard. This is foundational and it, and it must be the first step towards a safe and prosperous AI future. If used correctly, AI can be a source for good. It could help us unlock life-changing technologies like self-driving vehicles and enhanced health diagnostic systems, enhanced protections against national security threats and data breaches, while assisting companies and law enforcement to better scan internet platforms for illegal activity like child sexual abuse material and fentanyl distribution. To unlock these benefits though, we need to first establish foundational protections for the data that powers many of these new AI tools and it's vital that it be led by the US. Data is the lifeblood of artificial intelligence. These systems learn from processing vast amounts of data. And as we think about how to protect people's data privacy, we need to be considering first and foremost how the data is collected and how it's meant to be used and ensure that it is secured. It's time that we provide people with greater transparency and put them back in control of the collection and the use of their personal information. Key to this is ensuring the safety of algorithms used by online platforms, which serve as the instruction manuals for artificial intelligence. By making sure algorithms are being developed, operated, and training AI responsibly, we can provide Americans with greater, greater transparency for how their data is analyzed, how these systems identify patterns, how they make predictions, and how their interactions with online platforms are used to determine what content, the content they see. Put simply, trustworthy algorithms are essential components in a responsible deployment of AI. Failing to enact a national data privacy standard or allowing China to lead the way heightens the risk over the collection and misuse of data, unauthorized access and transfers, and greater harms for Americans and our families. We need to prioritize strengthening data security protections to safeguard people's information against threats. The theft and exploitation of sensitive information, especially biometric data, pose severe risk to individuals and organizations. We establish stronger data privacy protections for Americans without equally robust data security requirements along those rules on collection and use, the number of data breaches and abuses will continue to rise and compromise people's information. Building those laws early would ensure greater public in trust in AI, which will ensure future innovations are made in the US. To ensure American leadership, we must stri strike the right balance with AI, one that gives businesses the flexibility to remain agile as they develop these cutting edge technologies, while also ensuring the responsible use of this technology. A national standard for collection and handling of data will provide businesses, creators, and every American with clear and understandable protections wherever they are. I look forward to discussing the path forward today, and I yield back. I thank the chair. I now recognize my friend from 